All right, now that we've got a rough cut pretty much done, let's go ahead and start mixing in some audio to really sell our video that we're creating. In this video, I'm gonna go ahead and add some wind noise into a spot where the, our artist is actually using a spray can. We're just gonna add a little bit of an effect as if we're up there with him actually hearing that spray can going. And um, to do that, I'm gonna cheat by using a little bit of wind noise that I downloaded. So let's take a look at that and how we're going to mix the audio inside Premiere. Okay, so here we are, and I've got this guy, he's shaking the cans, and in the next shot, here's the, let's listen to the music quick. So there's a little spot there where the music kind of has a little spray going on, if you can hear that. And we're going to keep that going throughout this entire clip. So let's take a look. Here's my wind noise. I double clicked it, downloaded it. It's called Wind One. And if I just play this. That's all it is, just wind noise, just white noise. All right, so I'm gonna use about that much of it. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab the audio only part of it. And I'm gonna drag it in here. And it looks like it's about the right length. Um, Let's drag this up so we can see it. About there, let's see here. Yep, so right there is a good spot. You know what, I'm gonna leave it right there. Let's add a couple transitions first so that we have it fading in and fading out with us. So let's find our effects palette again. Let's go to editing. Editing, there we are. And where's our effects palette? There it is. Okay, let's see here. Um, and I know it's under audio transitions, crossfade. And we're gonna use constant gain on these. And I'm just gonna drop them in. And actually another feature, control D. Remember control D was adding a, a cross dissolve on our video? Well, if I hit shift D with my audio clip selected, it actually does the same thing. It adds a default cross dissolve or constant power transition to my audio. And I'm just gonna grab my transition here. You can see me grab the transition. And I'm gonna drag that out a little bit longer. All right, so it's a little bit more uh, dramatic there. Let's bring this out. I might start at a clip before, give it a little lead in. Let's take a look at that. All right, not bad. It's a little overpowering, but I think we can use it. Okay. So now what we can do, I'm going to save that quick, is I could adjust this line right here and just kind of keep playing it back and forth. Drop it down to like negative 13. Let's take a look at that. Yeah, it's actually pretty good. That's pretty good. It's right there. You can kind of hear it as, you, as it plays. Another thing we could do is go into audio. Now by adjusting this one thing like I did, I'm only adjusting that clip. Let's bring it up a little bit higher. I'm only adjusting the clip. But if I go into track mixer and play this back, you're gonna see the track actually, so we'll adjust everything on that track. This could be a good thing or a bad thing. This right here is our wind. and then it fades out. Not bad. That's actually pretty good. I'm gonna bring my main clip down here though. This is my audio, my music. We don't need to hit that zero. I'd like to keep it around negative, negative two if I can. But that's a couple ways of just adjusting your audio. Simply by 
changing this line here on our clip, bringing it down to like a lower number, like a negative 15 or 13. If you get too low, you can't hear it. Um, otherwise, just look at your audio track mixer and bring it down. Um, you could also, another way, is to simply take your clip, come over here and say show clip keyframes. or track keyframes and using your pen tool you could actually let's come over here using the pen tool you could actually just take and animate them that way too right so you have a few different options there We'll get into using the pen tool in just a little bit later, but there's a couple different ways now you can actually edit the audio to make things mix a little bit better. All right? All right, so go ahead, add some sound effects, and definitely mix your music. Make sure it has a nice clean start and end. And um, go ahead and keep working on your project. I hope this makes it a little bit more... Uh, um, inviting and it should really draw you in, pull you in um, and all these different sounds. Think of all the different sounds that you're hearing in the background uh, if you're looking at an image or um, in this case if you're using b-roll you know where you, this guy is you know getting ready to paint we're using some sounds to to bring us into that scene where there is no audio in our b-roll. So um, definitely use the music and the sound effects to your advantage. Alright? Alright, I will see you in class.